Right, here we go. Back again. Back again. All right. And today I'm going to be covering our good friend, Bill Gates. Okay. And uh, this is going to be uh, the first of um, three parts because uh, this guy, uh, we'll call him a guy for the moment, he's everywhere and he is involved in fucking everything. And I mean everything, okay? And uh, this, I'm sure you've all heard about this. And it's the geoengineer's risky plan to block out the sun. Yeah, that's right. Block out the sun. And who's behind that? Yeah, you guessed it. It's fucking Bill Gates. What a surprise, right? And uh, this is from the 13th of August, 2019. It sounds like a wacky idea. Out of a out of science fiction, but it's uh, but it's funded in part by mil by billionaire sorry Microsoft founder Bill Gates. Shock horror, right? And this is I'll expand on this a bit more. Could dimming the sun save the earth? Bill Gates wants to spray millions of tons of dust into the stratosphere to stop global warming, of course. But critics fear it could trigger a calamity. Damn straight. And it says, the plan sounds like science fiction, but could be fucked within a decade. Every day, more than 800 giant aircraft would lift millions of tons of chalk dust to a height of 12 miles above the Earth's surface and then sprinkle the lot high around the stratosphere. Hmm. Now, uh, I'm no expert on the sun or life itself, but yeah, that idea sounds fucking terrible. And it then says, in theory, the airborne dust would create a gigantic sunshade, reflecting some of the sun's rays and heat back into space dimming those that get through and so protecting Earth from the worsening ravages of climate warming, of course, right? So we need this to prevent global warming, basically, right? It's the only option by the looks of it. And it says then, this is not the crackpot plan of a garden shed inventor, the project is being funded by billionaire, yep, Microsoft founder, Bill fucking Gates. And pioneered by scientists at Harvard University. Right, so you know it's great stuff and it must be fantastic if it's being backed by uh, Gates and Harvard University. And uh, there's Jill there, sorry Bill, as you can see. And uh, in, the, in the diagram, I thought this was quite funny. It's actually got uh, balloons. So the in the diagram they're saying that it's sprayed from a balloon. When in fact we know that. Uh, they mentioned decades. They've actually been doing it already. For about uh, two, possibly even three decades. It then says, So where did the idea for such a mind-boggling scheme come from? Hmm. Well, the inspiration was in part spawned by a natural disaster. Right. When the volcano Mount, Mount Petom, Petuba, Petubo, we'll go with that, right, in the Philippines exploded in 1991. Huh. It killed more than 700 people and left more than 200,000 homeless. But it also gave scientists the chance to monitor the consequences of a vast chemical cloud in the stratosphere. Ha, I see. So that natural disaster, the volcanic, vol sorry, the volcanic eruption uh, actually helped them sort of investigate what sort of effects things like a volcanic eruption would cause uh, in the atmosphere, of course, in the stratosphere. Right, so that natural disaster obviously helped with that. So, yeah, that was good in a sense. And this has gave them their idea on blocking out the sun. Fucking sounds great, doesn't it? 
and I don't think. And uh, what else is Bill Gates up to? Well, I'm sure that most of you have seen this, but of course, Bill Gates predicted the coronavirus outbreak in as far back as 2018, and even as far back as 2015, he's been telling us that a pandemic was coming and uh, that 33 million people would die. And it says, the time-lapse video Gates unveiled at the conference explained how a potential outbreak in China could rapidly spread across the planet, which would eventually kill, yep, 33 million people. Interesting choice of number, Billy Boy, right? And, uh, of course, Event 201, a, pand a pandemic exercise to illustrate how prepared people are, or governments are, is funded by, yep, Bill and Melinda Gates. Right? Now, which one's Bill and which one's Melinda? Right? <laughs> I wonder. Anyway, at the moment, uh, it's all over the media just now in terms of the vaccination. It's all about the vaccination at the moment. And uh, it, there is a lot of stuff going about about... Um, is Bill Gates being sued by India over vaccination deaths? And if you go to our good friends at snoops.com, they tell you that it's false, right? But if you actually read the article from Snoops, uh, you will find out that they actually tell us it's fucking true, all right? And if you look at it a bit more, it says that during the COVID-19 coronavirus disease pandemic in 2020, a popular social media meme asserted that philanthropist Bill Gates had, was partnered with business magnate George Soros in owning a lab in Wuhan, China, the presumed location where the COVID-19 outbreak originated and was being sued by India over the deaths of girls resulting from vaccinations, right? So that's the that's the sort of accusation that's been put out in the meme. And uh, yeah, there's uh, Snoops. This is from Snoops. Still, they're telling us yeah that it's false. And this is the meme here. I've not actually seen it, but uh, they're masters at deception, of course, and they dilute everything. And uh, it says that it is true that the Microsoft co-founder through his Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, has expended billions of dollars funding research on childhood immunisation programmes in developing countries. Gates, who has long, long warned that we are inadequately, inadequately prepared to deal with global pandemics, has also pledged to make billions of dollars available for funding the manufacture of vaccines to combat the novel coronavirus. Dr. Anthony S. Fauci, the director of the National Institute of, of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, was a member of the Leadership Council for the Gates Foundation's Decade of Vaccine Collaboration effort launched in 2010. Yep, so the fucking connections are there, that is for sure. And it says, the rumour that India is suing Bill Gates because he vaccinated 77 third world girls between the age of 9 and 15 and many of them died is also a false one Hmm, that we have explored at length. The claim is not directly connected to Gates or the Gates Foundation but rather to the Global Health Organisation, PATH. And that is the Programme for Appropriate Technology in Health, which conducted a study beginning in 2009 to see if it could reduce the number of human papilloma virus infections by providing cost-effective vaccines to impoverished communities. The Gates Foundation was one of PATH's global partners and reportedly provided funding for its HPV study. Yeah, of course it did. Gates is behind it. Damn straight, he always fucking is. And it says that the, st the, study, ca the study caused controversy in India 
when seven of the girls involved in the trial in that country died after receiving their vaccines, but state investigations found those deaths were unrelated to the vaccinations. Yeah, of course they were, right? I'm sure they were. And we'll look into that investigation just a wee bit. Eh? But in terms of what they've just said there, uh, the connections are there in terms of Gates and Fauci and the people that run this programme and vaccinating uh, 77,000 people in India. Yeah, Gates is behind it. And Fauci, Fauci basically works for Bill Gates. And in terms of the investigation, right? Well, they say that five of the girls that died evidently were unrelated to the vaccine. One girl drowned in a quarry. Another died from a snake bite. Two committed suicide by ingesting pesticides. And one died from complications of malaria. Yeah, I'm fucking sure they did. Right, and the other two, they reckon uh, there is a possibility that their deaths were connected to it, but it's unlikely. That was the conclusion in the end. So there you go, right? Surprise, surprise. And uh, it doesn't stop with Bill Gates. It goes on and on and on, right? And here, from Sputnik, it's saying that Bill Gates and his war against cash are a threat to our liberty, economist warns. Yep, damn straight it fucking is. But of course, Bill Gates wants to see an end of cash. And it says that a consortium of powerful interests that include Visa and MasterCard, the International Monetary Fund, billionaire Bill Gates and the US Treasury, surprise, surprise, have been slowly lobbying for cash to be abolished worldwide and replaced with, digi with digital only currencies. Surprise, surprise, right? So, as you can imagine, the virus is now going to make sure that this happens. And uh, keeping it sort of on the Russian side of things, RT, Bill Gates seeks to microchip humanity. Russian Oscar-winning director pushes vaccine conspiracy loosely based on real patent. Right? And uh, loosely based, yeah, because like I covered before, it, it isn't exactly 666. But the sixes are there. That's the only false thing about this uh, conspiracy. All right. And uh, two hours ago, in Irish Central, Robert Kennedy Jr. claims Bill Gates owns the WHO. Yep. And it's not the band WHO. It's the World Health Organization, of course. Of course he does. But Bill Gates is just a front man for all this. He's not the man who's really behind it. Let's face it. And uh, four days ago... The Washington Post, the billionaire who cried pandemic. Yep, he sure did, and seemingly no one listened. Right, but uh, yeah, we're fucking listening now. And this is from Financial Times. Bill Gates urges rich countries to fund coronavirus vaccine search. Huh, now why would Bill Gates want them to do that? Eh, it's probably just out of the kindness of his heart. And it says that... I think most, this is Bill Gates, I think most countries will use the approach that Germany is using, which requires interviewing everyone who tests positive and using a database to make sure there is follow-up with all the contacts. The pattern of infections is studied to see where the risk is highest and policy might need to change, writes Gates. Hmm, right, and Germany, of course, is uh, Angela Merkel. And she is, uh, like I said before, Illuminati puppet. So there you go. And it says that, while Gates doesn't mention it, Germany is one of the prime drivers of a Bluetooth-based contact tracing initiative called, ready, the Pan-European Privacy Preserving Proximity Tracing Project. Okay, the system is similar in some ways to the Apple and Google's plans for a tracking system built into iOS and Android, of course. But the anonymized data would be held on a central server 
with a while Apple and Google have favoured a system that's supposed to store as much data as possible on users' devices. There's still a lot we don't know about its process. Yep, damn straight. Meanwhile, a separate group of experts has proposed a system called Decentralised Privacy Preserving Proximity Tracing. Right? Sounds fucking great, doesn't it? I'm sure. <laughs> and uh, it then goes on to say that uh, American health authorities are attempting to rapidly scale up a, contract, a contact tracing interview system that may require an army of disease detectives. Yep, there we go again. Massachusetts recently budgeted for 1,000 people to interview infected citizens over the phone and determine who they've been in contact with. The Centers for Diseases Control and Prevention also sent contact tracing teams to eight states. Tracing efforts also depend heavily on having a robust testing system, which the country has been slow to roll out, right? And of course, they want everyone in the world tested with one of these testing kits. And who's behind that? Yep, it's fucking Bill Gates. Of course it is. Who else could it be? And uh, when it mentioned there about a separate group, I wonder who they are. And I wonder who's behind that as well. Is it Melinda instead of Bill? That's probably who it is. But uh, yeah, it's most likely Bill Gates again. And of course, uh, our Bill Gates' best friend and our buddy, uh, Bezos is helping Bill Gates out because he's going to deliver all his testing kits, eh? Ain't that great? And I was reading this as well from the Activist Post, which I'll link in because I recommend it. Bill Gates partners with DARPA and Department of Defence for new DNA nanotech COVID-19 vaccine. Yep, it says that it has been said to never let a good crisis go to waste. And it appears the ones pulling the strings are taking full advantage of the current crisis, as more and more evidence emerges contradicting the official story that suggests that this crisis is no accident. The fact that Bill Gates has teamed up with the Department of Defence on DARPA, which is the special project research and development arm of the Pentagon, to develop a brand new type of vaccine which is being rushed into production is alarming to say the least. Yep, damn straight. It says then, especially considering this new kind of DNA RNA vaccine would normally take 15 to 20 years to roll out. While this one is being rolled out in, in a matter of months, and is already undergoing human clinical trials, the urgency and rolled back re regulations to streamline this new vaccine is, of course, justified by the crisis. Yep, of course it is. It's, to, it's for our own protection. It's for our own safety, as always. That's what it's always about. Yeah, right. Okay, and I will link this article in, like I said, from the Activist Post, um, I believe the writer is a boy called Spyro, who is also on YouTube, and uh, I'm sure you'll find him, possibly you already follow him, and uh, the Activist Post is, it does great articles all the time, and it's not scared to say what the truth is, that's for sure, and uh, in terms of Bill Gates, it never ends, it just goes on and on, and uh, this is from the 18th of September 2018, GMOs can help farmers adapt to climate change. What a surprise. He's involved in GMOs and fucking climate change. Uh, Bill Gates calls GMOs perfectly healthy. And scientists say he's right. Yeah, I'm sure he is. And that's also from 2018. And I did see this uh, from Business Insider. And it mentions about Bill Gates. He bought um, the Leonardo da Vinci writings in 1994 at auction for... 30.8 million. Now, the Da Vinci writings are quite interesting. And uh, it's something I would like to get my hands on. But unlike Bill, I'm not a multi-fucking billionaire. So, yeah, why did he want to buy them? 
Uh, that is quite interesting, I wonder. Hmm? And it did also say that in this article. Though he spends most of his time with his foundation, Gates says he is still working with Microsoft on its personal agent, which will remember everything and help you go back and find things and help you pick what things to pay attention to. So, yeah, if you've got a bad memory, a personal agent is what you want. But if you've not got a bad memory, uh, we don't. you don't want it, right? And this is obviously, it's AI. Bill Gates is also involved in fucking AI, right? What a surprise. And it says that despite his interest in AI, Gates says that he is in the camp that is concerned about super intelligence. Hmm. The camp also includes notable leaders in science and technology like Stephen Hawking and, you ready? Elon Musk. So Elon Musk, according to Business Insider, is in the camp that is sceptical and almost against AI. Yet Elon's the man that's bringing us the fucking neuron link. Explain that one. Right? And in terms of AI... And coming to today, oops, dropped my vape, there you go, on the 3rd of March May, uh, 2020, Genetic li Literacy Project, Bill Gates, AI, gene editing could help us reach global health goals, right? So he's into all sorts, AI, gene editing, vaccines, fucking you name it, it goes on and on. And uh, I'll be back with part two, but I did also see this. And uh, I actually shared this on YouTube. And uh, Snoops had to come out and tell us that it was actually fake. So thank God for Snoops, because I really thought that was real. Of course it was fake, right? But in terms of crop circles, uh, yeah, they are real and they do happen. And uh, they're quite interesting. Although some of them are probably most likely man-made. The same with most stuff. Okay? And I'll be back again, no doubt. Anyway, that is about it. Bye-bye.